Hey guys, Brad here. Uh, this will be my 10th Kickstarter project, so I just want to say thank you all for the support. And to kick it off, I figured we'd go kind of big. Uh, I guess this is kind of small. Um, so this project is a utility knife style keychain. Did you see that? It just sucked in. So it's got magnetic retraction and retention. So the blade will never come out on your keychain. You can swing it around, do what you need. Uh, it's not going to come off. It's a half inch thickness this way, quarter inch thick this way. These marks are not just grip. Oop. They are eighth inch increments. And on this side is one centimeter increments. So it's similar to my WTF and my tie key and a few other things where I put notches in there. Um, I chose, this is just a number 11 X-Acto blade, so you can buy it anywhere. Uh, one cool thing is it says USA on the blade. Um, this is totally prototype. Uh, I already forgot what I was saying. <clears throat> oh yeah. I chose for the blade not to come all the way out for a couple reasons. Uh, one, I, it comes out a half inch only, and I did that. Uh, I'm going to have to edit this video. 
because who needs the whole inch of blade? Um, also, this makes it stronger, so you can you know really push on something. Uh, what else should I say? It's got a huge lanyard loop, so it'll fit all keychains, and it's designed in this shape, so that way it can can come up and around when it's on your keys, and when you want to go use it, you can put it up up here, you know, pull your keys up, and you can use your keys as part of the handle, and then you can, you know, do your cutting. Um, <clears throat> at certain angles, like upside down, the blade will stay out. Uh, there's like an exact magnetic force going on there. But you turn like that and it sucks in. Um, it's mostly a safety feature that this doesn't lock out. Uh, so if you're going to use it, you pretty much got to keep your thumb there, which isn't a big deal. I mean, you know, it cuts good. Um, I don't know why I got this out. Because, uh, you know, it's too far away. Uh, what else? I just got a little grip here. It's kind of neat. This could change a little bit. Um, we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> It'll probably be chamfered a little more. This is literally the first one I made on my Tormach mill. Uh, these will be made on my Robo Drill mill if any of you follow me on Instagram or uh, YouTube. <clears throat> you can see that. Uh, so I think this is pretty much the first Kickstarter video in, well this will be the tenth project, so in the other nine uh, that I've actually sat down and talked to you guys. I'm probably going to make a short page, you know, just a couple pictures, maybe a, a GIF, you know, doing that, or GIF, whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's going to be simple. It's, you know, we'll talk about it. Get some anodizing going on. Um, what else could we do? <clears throat> oh, this is a brass button, and it's brass for... Uh, the main reason is uh, titanium on titanium uh, can gall, so it could stick, whereas brass is kind of lubricated. We might end up going to bronze here, like a bearing bronze or, or something. Maybe you guys have a good idea for that. But brass, as you can see, works, works just fine. And it's got my logo. Everybody's been wanting my logo engraved. So we got that. Don't mind that. So my logo. Um, I don't know guys, this is perfect. This is the first first prototype I've made, and it works. I can't believe it. You know, it's not all pretty fancy anodized up, <clears throat> but you guys know me, we'll do that during a project, and I uh, hope it'll be a lot of fun. So there it is, guys. Thanks for coming along for the journey. Let's talk in the comments. All right, guys, have a good one.